so let me in. I was just coming to find you. No, very quickly, it seems. Uh -oh. Can you stand? I'd rather not. And if I help you? Then I would stand. It was estimated that we rose to a height of 37,000 feet that day. Seven miles high. Two aeronauts have been nearer to the moon and stars than all the race of man before them. The time's Ethel. You read it? Yes, Arthur, I've read it. <laughs> My boy. James Glacier's meticulous recording of data showed that the atmosphere has different layers within it, a discovery which led to the first scientific weather forecasts. The fact that I am able to be here at all to present this to you is due to some luck, some help, and Amelia Wren's remarkable courage. So we tell our story not for the purposes of pleasure, but for the advancement of knowledge and for the good of us all. We took to the skies in the name of discovery, to find something new, to change the world. Come on! I've flown in worse weather than this! We'll make pilots of you yet! <laughs> we won't! But you don't change the world simply by looking at it. 
You change it through the way you choose to live in it.